This video is brought to you by Rolls Gold and Black, and I just want to let you guys know that this is going to be the biggest and cheapest sale that'll be all year round for Black Friday. Go ahead and check them out, link in the description. Most of us probably spent this year in all black. It's easy to throw on, it takes less effort, totally understandable. And by all black, I mean black pants, black top, and or jackets. So basically 95% of your body is covered by black garments. And we all know that sometimes this much surface area covered by black can make you look like a silhouette. Which is why I have five things that you can do to go from a silhouette to actually something tasteful. And by the way, I'm gonna have a lot of analogies in this video to help you understand what's going on in my brain. So let's get right into it. First one up, I'm not really going to count this one because it's very short, but it's still one of the most important one and that is to get a lint roller. Nothing's going to mess up an all black fit more than having a bunch of lint or in my case, having a carpet of corgi fur on you. So I buy a pack of four of these on Amazon and these are the Scotch Bright 3M ones. And don't go cheap on these because it's either not going to pick up lint properly or the sheets aren't going to rip properly, just making it a lot more harder. So that's why I recommend these ones on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below. Now let's actually get into to it, what you want to do to avoid looking like a silhouette is to diversify your wardrobe. And what I mean by that is picking up items that are going to add some separation or texture to your outfits. This is going to apply to tops, bottoms, and jackets, so make sure you have a variety. And if you don't, you can build on this over time. So luckily for you and I, every black item that you pick up is going to have a different shade to it. That's a good start right there. That way you can still distinguish every single item without having everything blend together. But then you can move on to different fabrics and materials such as corduroy, nylon, poly polyester, leather, fleece, ribbed or knitted cotton, there's plenty out there. So for example, I have this corduroy button up from Uniqlo and corduroy, if you don't know, has a uh, little tiny vertical lines and it's a great fabric contrast to this plain black shirt. I've got shell jackets made of nylon or ripstop fabric and you can definitely tell it's a different material. It has a little bit of a shine to it. I've also got this knitted turtleneck that I have for texture variation and a puffer vest is my favorite item to throw on to add a little bit more texture. Whatever you pick up, you just want something with a little more sensibility or a distinguishable feel to the touch. Like take a look at the camera I'm shooting on. Of course, it's all black, but you can clearly distinguish the separation of the camera body. There's different textures from the hand grip having more grit, making it easier to hold, to the aluminum body that has a sort of pattern to it, making it refract speckles of light, to the knobs having ridges to it. It is clearly distinguishable. If this camera was just one solid body, perfectly smooth, no grip, no ridges, no anything, just black, well, that's whack. Hashtag bars. Then the next tier after that is to pick up items with even more separation to it. Easy start right here. Cargo pants, you guys know that's my favorite. And the reason why I love it is because the pockets, they protrude out. And this protrusion adds even more depth within that item. And if it doesn't have any pockets that stick out, like my Apex cargos, those still have zippers and clearly distinguishable stitching that makes it stand out as well. Like I said, you want separation within that specific item. Something like this fleece jacket with a combination of fleece and nylon, or you can roll with a leather jacket with buttons, zippers, and lapels. This is going to add the extra step to keeping your outfit more disconnected, while keeping it more cohesive, if that makes sense. You can also think of this like adding different vegetables to your salad. Sure, all romaine is fine, but throw in some spinach, some iceberg, maybe some snap peas or celery. This is going to help break up the salad while making the salad a lot tastier. The same exact way it's going to help break up your fits and making your outfit better. All right, so now that you know what kind of items to pick up, what about sizing? After all, sizing is a huge thing when it comes to street fashion. Of course, I still love that beautiful SLP slim look, but you want options. Dip your feet into more oversized items. Dip your feet into more slim fitting items. This is gonna provide a sizing juxtaposition with your outfits, a necessary one. Some easy combinations that I love are of course, slim fitting pants with an oversized top. Because at this moment in time, a lot of guys are more accustomed to slim fitting pants and it's definitely easier to get more comfortable with an oversized top rather than relaxed fitting pants. So I like these slim cargo athletic pants with an oversized hoodie. It's an easy contrast and it gives your outfit a different vibe. Say I threw on a fitted top, then the outfit would be fitted on fitted, making it more athletic. With the oversized hoodie, it's more chill, cozy, quarantine life, you guys know what I mean. And as always, leaning into it is just as awesome. Slim top, slim bottom, dope. Oversized top, relaxed fitting bottoms, that works as well. Different strokes for different folks. Once you start to get comfortable with oversized tops, don't forget about the relaxed fitting bottoms as I believe they have more impact on your outfits than an oversized top. And the reason why I love these pants is having the option to cuff them or you can wear cropped ones. I do this a lot because I really appreciate that clear disconnect of the pants to the crew socks to the sneakers. Sure, you can have a gradual taper of the pants to the sneakers. Like I said, I love that look too. But from a visual standpoint, that disconnect is just a little bit more interesting you still get that same taper, 
It's just not as gradual and is a great switch up for your fits. Just think of this like stairs and a ramp. Well, of course you can have a ramp going up to a building or you can have stairs. It doesn't really matter. It's just a different choice. Plus, if you think about it, crew socks and skinny pants, that just ain't the move. And another thing you can do is to pick up a graphic tee. I don't need to explain this. Obviously, it's gonna make your outfit a lot more different. You have something standing out. All right, so those first four are ways you can add separation within your outfits. But this next one's gonna work with any kind of all black outfits. It doesn't matter if you look like a silhouette or not. This will help with that. And that is, of course, throwing on some accessories. Like this necklace here, it's a black necklace. I'm wearing all black up top. You can still tell that there's separation within this outfit. So anyways, with accessories, Go all out, go crazy with the colors because accessories hardly take up any real estate at all. Wearing colored sneakers or even dyeing your hair is going to work because some people don't have black hair like me. Some people have blonde hair, some people have their hair dyed, which is why I'm wearing this mustard beanie with this outfit. Now the shoes and the hairs aren't accessories, but you guys get what I mean. So here are items I like to throw on with my black fits. Jewelry for sure is a necessity for me. I love adding rings, necklaces, bracelets, and watches to my fits. I have this jade pendant that my mama gave me. Put this on a silver chain along with the rose gold and black necklace. Great depth and color pop. Hats and beanies are amazing because you can go bold with the colors. Definitely recommend a mustard one to start as your first colored beanie, but get all colors that you want. You've also got crew socks as well. I treat these like beanies just for your legs. You could also add an underlayer color to let's say a hoodie and having that color slightly pop out still keeps it a mostly black outfit. And if you go with black accessories, that's fine too. This messenger bag and belt is just another layer of fabric to your outfits. Obviously the fabric is weaved, making it stand out a little bit more and making your fit a truly all black fit. Here's one thing I have to say is why do you have to stick to everything must be all black. I only have one footwear item that's all black and that's my boots. My black slip-on vans obviously have a white contrasting outsole, so that's not truly all black. So I just have to say that sticking to a completely all black outfit is no fun. Don't place that kind of restriction on yourself. I like to think of it like everyday items that you might buy. So an example, my headphones. They're obviously black, but they have rose gold accents with the logo and the microphones. Would you still consider this a black colorway? Of course you would, because those accents are just there as a design choice, they're accents, and they don't overall change the color of the item. So for me, in my opinion, these accent pieces are a necessity. I'm gonna wear my white sneakers, I'm gonna wear colored beanies, it doesn't matter, they don't take up that much real estate, and you shouldn't worry about that either. And I'm actually surprised at how many items that I have that are rose gold and black. I've got this tripod in the same color, this lamp is the same color, and this one's actually from Rose Gold and Black, the sponsor of today's video. Man, I'm just getting smoother and smoother. So Rose Gold and Black and I have been working together since 2017 or something like that. I really do recommend starting with them if you guys are just getting into accessories and jewelry for men. This minimal bar necklace is a great place to start. This is a gunmetal one, but they got silver, Rose Gold and Black, obviously. But they also have new minimal necklaces that I've really been digging. Like this one right here, it's kind of like the minimal bar necklace, just not as prominent. And if you guys click the link in the description, it's gonna take you guys to my special landing page and right now they are having a Black Friday sale that is the cheapest it'll ever be all year long. Right now it's 40% off for Black Friday and you guys can still enter the code VIBE15. You can get an additional percentage off, saving even more money. So if you guys have been holding off on Rose Gold and Black, I'd say now is definitely the time. So make sure you guys go check them out and thank you Rose Gold and Black for sponsoring this video. So guys, do you have any tips on how to improve your all black outfits? Let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Ty. Check out Rose Gold and Black and subscribe.